All right. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome. Hey, this is Kurt Christensen and welcome to the Stock Trading Science webinar. Uh, we're going to go about 90 minutes. Uh, we've got good solid 60 minutes of content. we got a, a few minutes in there to answer any questions you have. Uh, so glad that everyone could be on. Looks like uh, my audio is coming through okay. We've got our webcam on. We're going to turn the webcam off just because it's hard to do a webinar with it on. But you notice in uh, in GoToWebinar, you notice that there's a questions box. You can go ahead and ask your questions in there as we go through the presentation. Uh, of course, this is live and in person. And uh, if you have a question, we'd be glad and honored to answer it. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to turn off my webcam, stop sharing that here briefly. And uh, you still obviously be able to hear me on audio and you can see my screen. Make that maximized and start the presentation. All right, so hey, thanks everyone for being on. Today we're going to talk about how to trade stocks and predictably fatten your accounts by laser focusing on one simple recurring setup with a surprisingly concise one page set of mechanical trading rules all in 15 minutes a day. And this is all 100% verifiable. We're going to show you live examples as we go through here and uh, ready to roll. So I want to make sure that my drawing on the screen here works. Just make sure that we can draw circles. Yep, we're good to go. Okay, so here today we're going to talk about the one thing that changes everything for your trading. And this is super crucial that you that you know that there is one thing that can dramatically change and uh, change everything in your trading. And during our time together, I'm going to spell that out for you. I'm going to show you exactly how it changed my trading and uh, how it could possibly change yours. So, but before we get into that, just so you know, this isn't just something that uh, I came up with and perfected and it only works for me. I wanna show you that anyone can do this. Anyone with the right tenacity and discipline, because like we're gonna talk about a lot of times during this event, trading is not easy. You should run, run, run from anyone who tells you that trading is easy. Trading is not easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. But I do wanna show you how I've taught other people uh, exactly how to do exactly what I'm doing here. So first off, this is my friend here in Spokane, Washington, Brad Murray. He says, a thousand thank yous for explaining this exact setup in a very logical, easy to understand way, as well as demonstrating in real time exactly how it works. I started with zero trading knowledge. He had never placed a stock trade before, folks. And with your help, I'm now up 11% on the month overall, including a 17% winner on Z. Here's another local friend. Uh, he was just actually here in my office this morning. He says, I first started studying with Kurt in March of 2020. I started out paper trading as recommended, and I've had a steep learning curve. Uh, since I went live, I'm up over 12% in the past month. My biggest winners the month before were apps for 26% and 28% on VVPR. I have a full-time job. It doesn't allow me to trade all day, so the swing setups he teaches are at a pace I can manage throughout the day, despite my busy work schedule. So you can do this. These bo Both of these individuals I showed you were brand new to trading. Most of you on the call have some experience with trading. Uh, probably, I would say, most of the people on the call are at least intermediate traders. So in the questions box, if you could just go, ahead, go in and type in, are you a beginning trader, intermediate trader, or advanced trader? Uh, just so we know what everybody's on. You'll see a questions box there on the webinar. Okay, so interest in stock trading has just gone off the charts. Off the charts. Uh, you know, this whole market sell-off at the beginning of COVID, people being pent up in their houses. Uh, and frankly, I think because uh, no sports have been going on uh, and all, there's no sports to bet on, right? Or casinos open. A lot of those people who I would term normal traders have turned their attention to stock trading. However, many of them are not exactly in the right position to, to profit from trading because they believe most likely some or, or possibly all of these seven trading myths. And we're gonna go over these trading myths to see exactly where you're at. Myth number one, trading is easy and anyone can do it. That is 100% inaccurate. <laughs> trading isn't easy, we've already covered that, but with the right people with discipline and uh, some gumption and the, the desire to put in the, in, the, in the work can learn it, can get it to the spot where it's simple. It's not easy, but it is simple. Uh, myth number two, kind of the opposite side of that would be trading is impossible and nobody can beat the market. 
Nothing could be further from the truth. Now, an uneducated person who's brand new to the market, who's never placed a trade, who's just randomly picking a stock uh, that they heard on the news, yeah, they're not gonna beat the market. People with specific edges, and we're gonna talk about what our edges as we go through this, can and do beat the market all the time. Myth number three, you are better off investing in an index fund, buy and hold through 30 to 50% market sell-offs. Right. For any of you who had any buy and hold funds long or had any friends or relatives, this was a crazy year. Beginning of the year, that sell off in, in March, um, there was limit down days just week after week or for about a month. Market was going limit down, uh, not every day, but every other day. And uh, a lot of those people sold at exactly the wrong time. And now the retirement is going to be drastically different because they sold at the bottom instead of holding for the rebound. And now we're you know, back to all time highs in most markets. Myth number four, algo trading or day trading is the only place to make money these days. You'll hear this talked about time and time again, that you need some black box system or algo trading, or you need to be glued to your computer day trading, going for tiny scalps of cents on, on, major, on major stocks. Uh, that's just not true. Myth number five, Forex options or futures are surefire ways to amplify your returns and beat the market. All of these, uh, you know, especially well, options and futures are derivatives. Derivatives simply means that they're derivative or taken from something else. Their price is all based on something else. If you can't mo make money trading stocks, you're not going to make money trading options or futures. That's just a simple fact. You got to be able to cover the basics first. Yes, we will talk a little bit about options uh, today. But because uh, I'm an options guy from going way back. But uh, if you have a negative expectation, if you have a trading system that on average you lose money with every trade, you're just going to lose it more quickly with options. Myth number six, trading news that you can see on CNBC or Kramer actually works or some form of buy the rumor and sell the news. Total myth. Uh, there's multiple levels of news that it, that's available. The news that you see on CNBC is all delayed by 30 minutes to an hour to several hours. Uh, this That information has already been processed into the market and somebody already took advantage of it, most likely not you if you're watching CNBC. Myth number seven, you've gotta be a computer guru, have lightning fast reflexes along with a top of the line computer and super internet speed. That's not true at all. Of course, you know I'm sitting here, I do have three 28 inch monitors and all that kind of stuff um, and a very fast internet connection, but it's not exactly critical. I could go to some, uh, back backwoods uh, in the United States or even internationally, as long as I have a decent internet connection, I can place these trades because we're not going to talk about day trading. We're going to talk about trades that you can place and set the stops and just let them go. Yeah, you do need to be able to monitor your positions, but you don't have to have lightning fast internet or lightning fast reflexes for that matter to place these trades. But today's successful stock traders, and that's important we're going to talk about what you have to be to be a successful stock trader it's not just enough just to trade stocks you actually want to be good at it right so the successful stock traders are getting clever and using this system that i'm going to talk about today you are going to see results here are the results that we're going to talk about number one i'm going to teach you how to look for one simple setup that can be explained in one page of trading rules i'm going to teach you how to hold on to your winners and squeeze as much out of them as you can and I'm going to teach you how to cut your losses quickly and for tiny paper cut amounts instead of stomach churning, you know, fear inducing. I can't believe I, I lost, I lost, you know, $5,000, $10,000, $50,000 type of losses. I'm going to teach you how to get a risk return ratio of one to 10 as the norm and a minimum of one to five. So that means for every one unit of risk, you're going to have a potential return of 10 units and a minimum of one to five. We're going to teach you how to trade only the long side of the market. And I'm going to show you, because uh, it's my personal belief that you shouldn't try to short the market until you've made at least a million bucks. <laughs> Once you've made a million bucks, knock yourself out, learn how to trade the short side of the market. It's a totally different game, totally different beast than trading uh, the long side of the market. This can also be traded from any brokerage in the world. Uh, we're not particular to any particular platform. Um, but preferably one with zero commissions and dang good customer service, right? That's what we're looking for. We're going to teach you how to do the charts and the scans that we do in, 
in two different platforms, either in TOS, which is Think or Swim, which is 100% free, available to anybody on the planet. Even if you don't use their brokerage services and place your trades through there, you can still get a free copy of Think or Swim to do your analysis and to run your charts and scans, or through TC2000. TC2000 is where a lot of, uh, of this idea developed, but we've actually ported all the scans over to Thinkorswim as well because it's more wide, widely used. But TC2000 is a perfectly wonderful program as well. It does cost for the basic package, I think like 15 or 20 bucks a month. So nothing consequential at all. And of course, you can have your broker, brokerage account anywhere in the world, uh, anywhere that you want to use. So here's my promise for you today. Uh, number one is we're going to show you why you don't need fundamental analysis. You know, there's nothing wrong with with the going through the uh, accounting reports. There's no long, nothing wrong with talking about earnings and market share and all that kind of stuff, EPS. But you don't need fundamental fundamental analysis to make big money. You don't need special software, algorithms, or insider info. This is where a lot of traders get caught in: is they they're looking for the next indicator. They go on an indicator binge where they learn everything there is to know about every single indicator under the sun. Uh, that doesn't lead you anywhere. All the indicators are just basic reflections of exactly the same things. You need to be able to recognize and only trade stocks that are doing what we already want them to do and have a specific setup. You don't need special software or any, any black box or anything like that. Promise number three, you don't need to day trade. You can check your positions 15 minutes a day and that's it. Sure, you can you know pop in and check on your mobile app if you wish and i i end up doing that on on my td ameritrade mobile app td ameritrade is the company that bought out thinkorswim so when i say thinkorswim my brokerage account is actually td ameritrade and the software is thinkorswim just in case you're not familiar with all that um but but frankly i i don't ever take trades from mobile i take my trades usually most of my trades are within the first hour that the market's open between 6 30 a.m pacific which would be 9.30 a.m. Eastern to 10.30, um, excuse me, 10.30 uh, Eastern, which would be 7.30 uh, Pacific. And after that, my trades are set up. I put the stops on, check everything at the end of the day, and I'm good to go. So promise number four, we're going to teach you why win rate is garbage and what you should focus on instead. So a lot of people talk about, hey, I have this stock system and we have 90% winners. Or I have this options trading system that has 95% winners. Anytime you see, you see a system, system like that, you know that their edge isn't very good. The, the methodology or the, the whole format be, behind what they're teaching isn't very good. Because if you have something that has 90 or 95% winners, your losses are going to be massive. Uh, for example, if on an average win, you win $1,000, well, your average loss is probably going to be four, five, or $6,000. That's just the way that it works out. We're going to teach you a much easier way to trade that's no, not so fixated on win rate. And if you're a fan of baseball, this will be very familiar. You know, how much do people who can bat 300 or 400 in baseball earn a year? Millions and millions of dollars. You know, nobody's actually batted 400 since Ted Williams, but you get the idea. You know, even high 200s or in the 300s is fantastic. So those guys, all they do. Every time a position, uh, an opportunity presents themselves, they step up the plate and they take a swing. Sometimes they hit home runs. Uh, we love that. You know, that's a stock that goes up eight to ten times. Sometimes they hit triples, they hit doubles, uh, sometimes they hit singles, and sometimes they strike out. In fact, most of the time they don't get on base. And that's the kind of system that we're trading. But it's not painful to them. They go back to the dugout, shrug it off, and they're ready for the next time. That's the kind of trading that we're going to do. We're going to take losses. Uh, this system has a win rate of about 30 to 40 percent and you just make up for it in the massive wins that you get when you let things run so but before we continue are you skeptical of course good I'm glad I've been doing this a long time I've been trading over 20 years I think we're at oh geez maybe 22 total years now I think so it's about yeah 1997 98 um, I actually started trading futures way back then uh, there was no online ordering you actually had to place the call on the phone. You could, there was online charting, uh, but to execute the orders, you had to dial your brokerage and say, hey, this is so-and-so, account number 1006, 108, and I'd like to buy whatever, you know, at market, and they would place the order for you. Pretty, pretty crazy. So 
but does this sound fair to you? I know you may be skeptical. Here's what we're going to cover today. I'm going to give you the complete rules of the system. Uh, and of course, if you want to work with me, I have an offer at the end to, to join with me on a beta test for $995 to work alongside me to implement this exact same system. But this involves a very reasonable time requirement. It's something almost anyone can find the time to do. It won't cost a king's ransom in cost, not even close. Like we mentioned, all the software that we're going to talk about and all the stuff we're going to talk about today is totally free or very, very minimal, like we talked about TC2000, which is, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks a month. And it's a system that's getting consistent results across the board for all my stock trading partners and everybody that I've talked to with my friends and family. It's just something you have to commit to for at least six months. So is six months to start seeing stellar results fair? Uh, what do you guys think? In, in the questions box, you can go ahead and, and answer. Are you willing to work at something after I prove to you that it works? It's not that it's going to take the entire six months to place a trade or anything like that. It's going to take six months for you to become extremely confident and kind of self-sufficient in this. Is that fair enough? Okay. A lot of people are saying yes in, in, in the chat. So first off, I have a confession. My confession is, on my own, just as an intuitive trader, I'm not very good. <laughs> I most likely would lose money because the, one of the keys to making money in the stock market is you have to have simple, easy to follow mechanical trading rules. Mechanical trading rules are things that have already predetermined where you exit or ex enter or exit, your position sizing, and when you get out of the position. If you've you ever laid asleep at night wondering, ah, should I have done this or could I have done this? This is going to be a revelation to you. Put that all behind you. Your whole goal with this system is to do nothing more than to find high probability, good looking setups and take them. Once you've done that, you're done. You set your stops. You have all your procedures in place for what happens after that. And you simply say next, right? By saying next, you're on to the next trade. And the next trade after that, next trade after that. Now, some of your trades are going to get stopped out. Big deal. Some of your trades are going to turn into massive winners. Some of them are kind of turn into duds and trade sideways. No big deal. Your whole goal is to take the emotion out of it by having mechanical set rules that govern how you trade. And that's going to completely change your life. So if you're feeling challenged, stressed, or even a little bit fearful, this is for you. So my very humble beginnings. Uh, I grew up uh, all over the Pacific Northwest, but uh, the majority of the time, my, my father's family is from Preston, Idaho. So if you ever watched the 2004 movie, Napoleon Dynamite, if you haven't seen the movie, you've got to see it. But if you've seen Napoleon Dynamite, that's set in my hometown, and my cousins are actually credited extras in that movie. So pretty crazy stuff. But, you know, this is a ranch. This, that's where we grew up. And so, you know, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I didn't go to a private school. Uh, but I did have a chance to, to get a great college education. I went to BYU in Provo, Utah, studied econometrics and economics, uh, graduated, met my wife there. And since then, we've had three amazing kids. Um, I figured this out, the stock trading thing, so you don't have to. I've spent over 22 years of my life, uh, read over a thousand books related to stock trading, spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, not only on programming, but on testing various strategies in the futures, options, and stock market, all so you don't have to. Now, life is pretty decent. You know, I'm not one of those guys to brag, but, you know, I spend my summers here. Um, my main house is in Spokane, Washington, but we have another vacation uh, property up here in on the lake in Spirit Lake, Idaho, and this is what it looks like most days in the summer. Nobody else out there but uh, but us out on our, on our wakeboard boat or out on a jet ski. And, you know, if we decide to leave the area, there's, you know, other lakes like this. And you can see there's a common thread here. I love, I love water. I love lakes. I love wakeboarding and wake surfing and uh, paddle boarding and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm not just some guy who's, who's a hermit. I do go and speak at events. This was an event, Financial Marketing Summit in London, UK. That was September, uh, September of 2018. And obviously since COVID, we haven't had many opportunities to, to go out and uh, speak and tour the world, but I like to enjoy my life. And so, you know, instead of just going over to London for a seminar and going home, I took my wife on a two week trip. And we went all the way through Czech Republic and Slovakia. And let's see, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, and uh, Austria. 
And I tell you, we had a fantastic time. Here's my wife again, you know, before we got on a boat tour up the river. Um, but, you know, I've been at this over 20 years. We've been in the exact same location. Uh, the office has been the same location for three years now. I mean, before that, we just had the office in a different location, other side of town, but uh, this is where we're at. So if you ever happen to be in the Spokane area, we're on the east side of Washington State. Happy to have you drop by and uh, take you to lunch. So I love meeting up with my customers. I have customers from all over the world. I've been doing this a long time. So the steps to mastering stock trading, step number one, we're gonna teach you how to scan and trade for what we call the BMWs and Ferraris of the stock market, which are momentum stocks. We're gonna teach you how to trade long, right? Remember what I, I said, don't start trading short uh, until you've made a million bucks. So once you made a million bucks, go ahead and knock yourself out. But trade long, looking for one very specific, very learnable and easy to identify setup. We're gonna teach you how to keep the risk reward ratio absurdly high let our winners run and cut our losers very quickly. Uh, how many of you have that problem in your trading that when you have a loss, and you go, go ahead and type in the questions area when, when this comes up, how many of you have the tendency to hold on to losers way too long and let them mount and mount and mount rather than the opposite, which is to let your winners run? Uh, I've, I've seen people who their normal trade profit, you know, they want to make $500 on a trade. I've seen them have losses of $2,000, $3,000, $5,000, right? But the instant they get a winning trade, instead of holding for the $500 that their that their kind of target is, they sell it immediately when they get $100 up or $200 up. What does that automatically do? This automatically disproves the whole concept of you can't go broke taking a profit. Absolutely, you can bro go broke taking a profit, right? It'll come back, it'll come back like uh, Steve is saying in the chat, right? Here's the problem. If you take small profits like that, $100, $200, when you should be going for $500, this is just an example, right? But then you take losses of $2,500, $3,000. That is the surest way to go broke in trading known to man. And it happens all the time, right? So we're going to reverse that. We're going to, when we take losses, our losses are going to be quick. And we're going to be out of that trade, wham, bam, jam, onto the next trade. When we get our winners, we're going to be in winners sometimes two, three, four weeks. But do you know the, how much better feeling it is to wake up in the morning, to log in and check your account, to look at your swing trades, and all of a sudden, yeah, there's a $20,000 position that I'm up. $2,500 on, or there's a $50,000 position that I'm up $10,000 or $15,000 on. It's a, just a night and day difference. Sure, you're still going to have the tendency to want to take those profits off the table. We're going to teach you exactly how to keep the profits on the table until it's time to take them off. Okay, so it is really next to impossible to screw up stock trading if you follow these three steps. Granted, we've talked about this whole thing, and I don't want to give people the wrong idea. Stock trading is not easy. You're going to have days where you're like, I cannot believe I'm doing this. I got to do something else. This sucks. And then you're going to have other days like today or this week. You're like, man, I can't believe this is so easy. I, I, I've done the work now and stocks just keep going up. So we're going to talk about all of this. So stock trading success defined. This is a famous quote from Richard Dennis. He's the inventor or well, co-inventor of the whole concept of turtle trading, where they basically took some people who weren't successful traders and turned them into successful traders. His whole concept is there are a thousand ways to make money in the markets. The problem is all of them are hidden amidst tons of crap that doesn't work. <laughs> so we're going to show you exactly something that does work. Um, and you can prove it for yourself. Once you get this setup down, you can branch out. You can trade other setups. You can learn how to short. You can day trade if you want. You can learn and discover and research other methods. methods. But get this method down first. Why is that? Because this method is the backbone, backbone that you can always come back to. So we want you to have consistency in your profitability over months, which is much better than having just consistent, consistently profitable weeks, which is much better than just having winning trades. You're gonna go from the guy who, guy or gal who's happy to brag to your friends, hey, I just had a trade that's up 10%, or I just had a trade that's up 20% or 30% or 50% or even 100%. So you're gonna be the guy who, or gal who's bragging, well, my entire account this month is up 
20%. My entire account is up 30%. Now, we don't predict the future. We don't know past results are not indicative of future results, but this is the kind of system that averages 15 to 20% a month in good months on your entire account, not just individual trades. So let's talk about how to trade BMWs and Ferraris. Well, we're gonna be talking about momentum stocks. So by definition, this is from Investopedia, momentum investing involves a strategy to capitalize on the continuance of an existing market trend. It involves going long stocks, futures or market ETFs showing upward trending prices and short the respective assets with downward trending prices. Momentum investing holds that trends can persist for some time, and it's possible to profit by staying with the trend until its conclusion, no matter how long that may be. For example, momentum investors that entered the US stock market in 2009 generally enjoyed an uptrend until December 2018. Okay, so momentum investing simply is, if a trend is in, is in play, if something's going up, there is nothing to cap the upside, right? Especially, you know, in the, in the irrationality of the stock market these days, there is no reason that Zoom stock is $500. There is no reason that Tesla or some of those crazy Chinese electric vehicle stocks are, well, Tesla at least makes vehicles, right? But some of the Chinese vehicle stocks, uh, the prices are astronomical and they haven't even produced a single car yet, right? So fundamentally, Stock shouldn't be that high. Momentum investing takes advantage of that. Here's why. Uh, you got the potential for high profits over a short period of time. And this is super critical when we're talking about compounding. You're gonna leverage the market volatility to your advantage. So no more are you gonna be scared. Hey, the market's super volatile. Well, you're in super volatile stocks. Yeah, but on average, they're going up. The trend is up. And you're gonna be leveraging the emotional decisions of other investors. Like we just talked about, there's no reason for Neo or I can't even think of the other names of those Chinese manufacturers, but there's no reason for Zoom or things like that to be that super high. Um, but other people believe that the stock's going to go up, so they bought it. So you can leverage off, off of that and ride that way. So here's why this is important. Trading the right stock, ones that are momentum leaders, tilts the odds slightly in your favor right out of the gate. Now, you're not going to make a million bucks and you're not going to you know, corner the market just by trading momentum stocks, but it does tilt the, the odds in your favor. If in general, a stock has been going up for the last one month, three months, six months, it's gonna continue in general to go up. Of course, it's gonna have down, it can reverse that trend, but the trend is your friend. And in this case, that axiom is actually true. It also speeds up the process when you trade the right stocks, since the trades will either be losers or winners just in a, in a couple of days. So it allows you more compounding periods. So which would you rather trade? A stock that goes up 15% in two weeks or 15% in two months. You trade the stock that goes up 15% in two weeks, take your profits off the table, trade another stock. What if it goes up 15% in two weeks? Take that money off the table. Trade another stock. What if it goes up 15%? You see what I'm saying? By the time the, the two months are going to go by, you've had 15% tied up for two months and you've already had multiple compounding periods on the other 2%, on the other 15% that the trade only lasted two weeks. So can you see why so many experts and successful traders view scanning and picking the right stocks as critical to the progress? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious. If you have any questions, go ahead and pop them in the questions as, as we go through. So here's exactly how you do it. These are the exact setups that you can do in either Thinkorswim or TC2000. What we're gonna look for is momentum and momentum stocks and ETFs that have outpaced the price growth of the whole rest of the universe by 90% in the last one month, 90% in the last three months, or 90% in the last six months. Okay, so TC2000 has this automatically built in, and we'll give you the calculation here in a second. Basically, you're saying, hey, show me everything of your universe of 5,000 stocks, show me the top 90%, which is, you know, would, which would be about 500, that have, have had price growth greater than than every, everybody else in the last one month, three months, or six months. These are three separate scans. The other criteria is that it has an ADR, or average daily range, of 6%. So ADR is basically a proxy for volatility. We're saying the stock is $100 and the ADR is 6, and it's expressed in the percentage. That means on a daily basis, that stock is going to move 
Now notice we didn't say it's gonna move up. We just said it's gonna move. It's gonna move 6%. So at the end of the day, it's likely that stock's either gonna be 106 or 94. Okay, and the third scan that we look for is that we want the daily price volume, which is the number of shares traded times the average price. We want that to be at least 10 million. You never wanna be more than one or 2% of your account size uh, of the total amount of shares traded in that market. So if it's it's only trading two million dollars, well, one percent of that, uh, your account size should be less than that. To make sure that you're not moving the price, that uh, you can get out at a reasonable amount. Obviously, when stocks are more illiquid, uh, the bid ask spread is going to widen out, and it's going to cost you more to get it in and out of trades. Uh, you see this all the time. People trade stocks with a wide bid ask spread. Uh, sometimes they'll trade stocks, you know, twenty or $50 stock with a $1 bid ask spread. So they go into the into the stock, they buy it at the AF, and then off immediately if they want to get out, obviously they're going to be down $1 <laughs> to get out at the at the bid. So you don't want that. You want things that have some reasonable volume that you're not going to move the market and uh, that have uh, decent bid ask spreads. <clears throat> so excuse me. This right here is gold. You're looking for things that have outpaced the market in the last one month, three months, and six months. On TC2000, it's built in. On Thinkorswim, we have to fudge it a little bit, and we put in a like a 20%, has grown 20% in the last month, 40% in the last three months, or 60%, I believe, in the last six months, and then it kind of adjusted up and down based on this next slide. The next slide tells us exactly how we narrow down our scans, what we're looking for. Here, here's the actual calculation. If you're a TC2000 user, which is basically the price, divided by the minimum of the low of the last 22 days, usually in a trading month, which is you know a month, is gonna have about 22 trading days, three months is gonna have about 66, and six months is gonna have about 134, because you know no, no trading happens on Saturdays and Sundays and weekends and holidays. So here's what's going to happen when you set this up. From each of your three scans, you're going to get some crossover. That's something that appears in all three scans from the one month, the three month, and the six month. Those are going to be awesome. The ideal would be that you have no more than 30 stocks appear in each of the scans. So between the three scans, you have 90 stocks with some crossover, of course, in those. If you aren't getting enough stocks to look at, lower your requirements. If you're getting too many, tighten them. Okay, so let's say you do the scan with these these uh, the, these basic stuff and you get 100 in each one, way too many. So what you would do is you'd say, okay, well, let's increase our ADR instead of six, let's go with seven. Instead of uh, it's better than price growth, better than 90%, let's go with 95%, right? You see what I'm saying? And the, the converse is true. If you're not getting enough, you, you can loosen your standards a little bit. But only start trading lower ADR stocks as your account grows, if you have less than 200,000, don't trade anything less than 5% ADR. You're just wasting your time. Uh, don't trade things that are slow moving, Amazon, eBay, Microsoft. You wanna trade things that move 5% on average per day. So average daily range is always expressed in a percentage, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. So here's your entry criteria and the chart setup. So here is uh, where we reveal, okay, so you've got these scans, you're looking for these stocks. You got 30 in each list. Which ones do you which ones do you buy? Okay, here's what you do. You want to look at the daily chart and a one hour chart. The one hour chart is just for entries. Most of the time you're going to be perusing daily charts. Like we mentioned, this doesn't require high speed internet, uh, right? Daily charts, you know, pretty static because each each candle is a day. On those daily charts and one hour chart, we want you to set up a 10 SMA, a 20 SMA and a 50 SMA on both charts. And actually on the one hour chart, when we get into it, we'll actually have you use slightly different time periods, but usually EMA is on the one hour chart, but let's keep it simple. 10 SMA, 20 SMA, and 50 SMA. What we're looking for is a clean, smooth price movement. Now remember these stocks have moved, had more price growth than 90% of the stocks in the market over the last one month, three months, or six months. So we know that they're up, right? We know that they're moving up. We're looking for a clean, smooth chart that surfs the moving averages. It has a minor small pullback. And after it has the pullback, it goes to the 10, 
the 20 and sometimes the 50 SMA and just search right alongside it. The trading range narrows over a few weeks or days or even rarely over a month or so. The narrow range price candles consolidate and the kisses and SMA or a simple moving average. If it's a low cap stock, there's no reason to settle for any choppiness. You know, you got to be, you want to be really picky with, with the kind of a crappy low, low, low cap stock. Should be smooth. If it's a larger cap stock, it's okay to accept some more bouncing around the, on, of, of the, of the price. So here's exactly what this looks like. Looks like. Uh, so this is Tupperware. Uh, yeah, Tupperware still around. <laughs> It's actually gotten some tremendous trades for us this year. Um, so you can see from the base down here, the low is about oh, a little under two bucks. And since then, it's been trading in a big upward trend. But more importantly, look in these two areas right here. I didn't take the first one because I missed it. Uh, and it wasn't quite a good a setup but it kind of got me on the radar for watching. And look at this setup right here. So as the market went up, uh, went up very quickly, it actually gapped up, but then it had a pullback. And on the, that pullback, what happened? Well, the price consolidated, the range closed. You can see those, uh, those are lines I drew in there. And you can see 1386, the white horizontal line all the way across, that's where I entered. And since then, the price shot up. Now, how do we get out? We'll talk about our exit criteria in a second. But I exited basically right in here at this 25 level. So 1386 to somewhere around 25. Here's another one, Lumber Liquidators, LL. You, you can see that Lumber Liquidators had a couple different setups. They had one right here. They had not a quite obvious one right there, but they had a beautiful one right there. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they, it's, because these are a little bit dated, but I think it has another setup right now, right? So particularly on this setup, you would have entered somewhere around 2350 and would have gotten out around 2650. And we'll discuss some of those exit, exit, exit trick criteria. Here's another one, Kirkland which is uh, the company behind uh, Costco. You can see down here, I've drawn in that triangle. So this chart pattern is, is a couple different chart patterns in one. So one chart pattern that could be considered is a high tight flag. It could also be considered uh, an ascending triangle or other types of triangles or you know horizontal triangle. It's anything where the price movement specifically is surfing the moving averages, has a pullback, it's after, after a good run up, builds a base. The base hopefully is making higher lows or, or, or you know, holding a line, holding a, a base. And then when it explodes to the upside, when it breaks out, we enter and we hold it until the close price closes below the 10 day SMA which in this case would be right up there. So this is another one, uh, Celsius Holdings, which is like a beverage company. You can see it had a breakout there. And this is absolutely beautiful. Look at this right here, which is recently formed. Look at that right there. And then the breakout um, on either the, one of the red candles there at the end or this green candle, it's a little bit hard to see there. And that one's still going for those people who got in on that. So, we, and we could go on and on and on. I actually have another 10, 20 examples of that. If we have time at the end, we'll, we'll cover some more charts. So we're only trading long. Uh, we're looking for one very specific setup, very learnable, easy to identify. The strongest candidates find support on the 10 SMA. Those are gonna be the best. The next best are the ones that find support on the 10, 20 day SMA. And the slower ones that are okay, especially if they're large caps, find support on the 50 day SMA. When do we buy? What's our entry? Well, we wait for an opening range to form. Uh, you can do this either in a, you know, a, a five minute candle or a one hour candle. I prefer a one hour candle. So I wait for a one hour candle to form. And on the breakout, 
of the range of that one hour candle. And also when obvious range is broken, we buy. For it to be a valid trade, this rule needs to be in place. That means our entry price that we get in minus the low day has to be then less than or equal to the average trading or average true range on a 14 day basis. So let's give you an example. Let's say it's, um, I'm just making up a company. Let's say it's Amazon and Amazon's hundred dollars. And the low of the day for Amazon was $99 and I can get Amazon, I can buy it for hundred currently, right? So that's $1. But then I go look at the average trade true range and the average true range is $5. That means on an average day from the prior close to today's highs or lows, it could move $5. Yes, it's a valid trade because I didn't, I, I, I got it early enough to qualify. Here, here's the reason why this is so crucial is you want to get in these trades right at just the right time when they're breaking out. If you do that, your risk is going to be minimal and your reward is going to be huge. Yes, you're going to get stopped out uh, quite a bit. However, when something starts running, you often don't even have time to chase it. You've got to get it when, when the getting's good. So this also obviously keeps your losses pretty minimal. Um, and I can show you an example that's currently open right now on Tesla. On Tesla, I'm currently up somewhere over $85 a share. Uh, and my entry, my risk was less than $7. My initial risk that I put up was $7. My current profit is somewhere over $85 per share. So that's over a 10 to one reward to risk ratio. So here's the difference between average true range. Average true range is expressed as a dollar. That's the from the prior close, including gaps, including what happens overnight, uh, what the stock can move. ADR, which is your average daily range, so that's what it moves during when the market's open, expressed as a percentage. The ATR includes gaps because it uses yesterday's close, and that's going to account for gaps. ADR doesn't include gaps because it just takes into account the daily highs and lows. And the ADR formula is actually very simple. It's in most trading platforms, but if you don't have it, you can do something like that. Basically the highs and lows from today, which would be HO divided by LO plus one day ago, the highs and lows, two days ago, the highs and lows, going all the way back 20 days, divide that all by 20, minus one times 100 gives you a percentage. And remember, we're looking for ADR of at least 6%. So here's how you keep your risk reward absurdly high, let winners run and cut losers quickly. So your initial stop, like we've already covered, is going to be either at the low of the day, or in my personal preference, a few cents or ticks below the low of the day, not a number that ends in five or zero. So like in our prior Amazon example, we buy it at 100, the low of the day is 99. I go ahead and put my stop in good until canceled. That means it's not just today, it's good until canceled at $98.97. And I walk away, that's it. So basically my stop in that case is a dollar and three cents. Then we wait three to five days after entry. If we're not stopped at our initial stop, we sell one third to one half of the entire position and move our stop to break even. So we move our stop at that point to the, the, the trade price, the entry price that we got. <clears throat> if the markets are choppy or the position doesn't look all that healthy, you can sell 50% on day three, right? You're like, ah, this doesn't look super great. Let me get out 50%, get some money off the table. If it works, it works. If you're in a great trending market and the position is A plus and you're super confident in it and everything looks in the sector's great, then just sell 33% on day five and let the rest, rest ride again with a break even stop. You exit the entirety of the position on the first close below the 10 SMA. Okay, so this can't really be automated. You just need to scan your positions and check when somebody looks like it's going to close before the 10 SMA, you get out. Okay, however, in my opinion, if higher lows are still being made on the daily chart, I would cautiously hold for bounce or a clean break of a trend on a daily chart. But the easiest and simplest rule is if it closes, if it's going to close before below the 10 SMA, get out. If it happens to close below the 10 SMA and you don't notice it until the next day the market opens, just get out. 
So here's why that risk to reward ratio is so crucial. And this is why, in my opinion, my humble opinion, but accurate, this is why swing trading is far easier than day trading. Um, they show the statistics that like 95% of day traders don't make money. And I 100% agree with that because it's difficult because they're looking for things that have very, very little upside and the risk is pretty substantial. You know, they're looking at things like in this category where they can get a risk of one or a reward of two, right? So they have uh, a losing trade and it costs them 100 bucks, but on a winning trade, they make 200. But the problem in day trading is those are actually pretty hard to find. Uh, and you gotta be pretty good to find those. In swing trading, what we're looking for is we're looking for in a minimum, a risk of one to get a reward of five. And more often than not, we're gonna be able to get risks of one to get rewards of 10, right? That just, what, what that does is, look, look how often we have to be right for that to work, 9% of the time. So for example, on that Tesla trade, and if we have time at the end, I can show you the exact numbers on the Tesla trade. But like I said, remember, the Tesla trade was a risk of about seven bucks. And the current reward is about, 85, right? So if we do that, that's over a 10%, that's over 10 to one. That means I could take that trade 100 times, 100 times folks, and only have to be right 9% of the time or nine times out of 100. That's the power of what we're teaching. That's, that's the power of swing trading. Okay, so most of the trades that we're gonna take are going to be some component or part or uh, you know follow the the cues which the cues is the nasdaq tech index so this is one etf you're going to want to have on your charts you can obviously it trades as if on the futures market as well as the nq but this is not the biggest etf that would be the spy the spy but i think the cues is in the top three or four largest etfs on the planet so the way that the cues go is the way that the market goes for the kind of stocks, the momentum stocks that we're tracking. So what we're looking for generally for a lot of setups to be generated is we're looking for time periods like this. And we're also looking for time periods like this. The time periods that we don't like are periods right like here and periods right like there. And why is that? Well, simply put, the most setups and the most follow through on those setups by follow through. I mean, you take a setup that looks good and something actually happens are going to occur when the 10 SMA, the 20 SMA and the 50 SMA on the queues are all pointed up and in the same direction at the very minimum, the 10 and 20 day SMA. So the question may come up, well, what do you do in the times when the system is slow? Well, you take a vacation, you trade something else, you trade something that's mean reversion. Uh, you sit and count your money because you've already been stopped out of positions and everybody else is losing money in the huge market sell-offs. And you won't be because you'll be stopped out ahead of that. Um, yeah, in, even in periods like this, setups occur, occur just not as many and uh, they don't work as well. And even in the last month or two, the market's been kind of trading sideways. So we haven't had as many setups and they haven't had as much follow through. Does that invalidate the system? No, absolutely not. All we're doing is we're biding our time, waiting for our season to come. This is this is a system of seasons. You're gonna have winter, you're gonna have spring, you're gonna have fall, and you're gonna have summer. So just like you know, farmers have different seasons, they, they don't expect things to grow in the winter. Don't expect things to grow in the winter. But when it's spring and summer, when trades are coming up, you gotta get your seeds out there. You gotta get your positions on because you get your positions on then you can kick back like the farmers once everything's planted and they just watch it grow. They get paid for watching it grow. Granted, it's a lot of work to wait through the winter and to, and to plant the seeds, but that, that's, we're gonna be doing the same thing with these trades. So here's some recent trades. Uh, Zillow, we entered in on 9.15, made a 17.05% gain. You can see on that white line, that's our entry price. You can see the setup forming there, right? That triangle or high tight flag. And we got out here um, when it closed below the 10 SMA, 
0.05% gain. Apps, 26.68% uh, gain, right? Apps has also had numerous setups. You're gonna you're gonna find the stocks that have this setup on them. Uh, it happens again and again and again. I welcome you to look at stock charts going back 100 years, and you're gonna find momentum stocks, stocks that are big movers. They have this set up time and time again. Fiverr, same thing. Fiverr had multiple setups back here. Uh, another good one right there. We kind of got this one late, but we still got a 18.91% gain. NEO, uh, this picture is a little bit dated, but there's additional setups being formed on NEO. We've gotten into NEO multiple times uh, here. And for this particular trade, the entry price was 20.34. And then we got out, uh, <coughs> must have been here at around 26 for a 19.95% gain. We already talked about Tupperware. Uh, Tupperware, of course, um, we got in at 1386. You see the white line right there. And you can see we got out up here at 2560, so about an 80% gain. Folks, this whole mechanical system can be written on one sheet of paper. Uh, that's how powerful it is, and it absolutely works. And we're going to show you more proof of that here in a second. So, so far, have you enjoyed our time together so far? Hopefully you have, right? <laughs> it's a Friday afternoon, big weekend. Hopefully you've enjoyed our time together. Did you find this information valuable? Hopefully, even if you're an intermediate or advanced trader, you found something valuable. This whole sequence of stuff that we put together it's pretty cool. Not that it's, you know, that it's uh, something that we invented out of scratch. Obviously, we're building on uh, information from a variety of sources, but this particular system and methodology is super powerful. So we want, I want to ask you, do you feel that you can try at least one of these tips over the next seven days? And do you know more about trading than when you first got on our call today? Hopefully through some of the myths that we've dispelled, hopefully through some of the, uh, the things that we've covered with risk return ratio, how that works, how that's important. Uh, talk about stock selection, momentum stocks. And the last question, do you feel perhaps a bit overwhelmed and curious about how and where to start? I know that most people are gonna fall into that camp for sure. So when I was developing this, remember I taught this to, to numerous friends and family at this point. Uh, as well as trading it for myself, I was faced with two choices and now really so are you. It's going to be hard, I'm going to be frank, almost impossible you, for you to create lasting change and results in your trading just based on the on, on what I've given you so far. Granted, everything is there. This, the whole one page, this is it, right? One measly webinar isn't really going to go about creating the change in your trading that you want and deserve. Today's training is frankly the tip of the iceberg. Um, I've given you all the rules, but then comes the work of actually implementing and doing it on a daily basis. But you're going to love what I've got for you next. So the first choice that I could have done is I could share what I've learned thus far, like today's webinar, part ways with you. And I've done some good, obviously. I've shared with you the exact rules that have made me tens of thousands of dollars and have made others millions of dollars trading this exact same setup. And just tell you to go out on your own and go for it. Uh, that's how I had to do it. I had to piece together this on my own, set up the scans, learn how to do the timing, learn my own entry and exit rules and all that. But the second option is I could take a more active role and probably have more responsibility for your success and create an ongoing, growing, and mutually rewarding relationship. And I can give you shortcuts and support systems and additional insights that go even deeper in exactly how to implement this. And I'm sure that you would love to hear more about it and what I can do for you. So we'll, we'll cover that now. So I'm gonna introduce what we call our Stock Trading Science Beta or our Beta Test Program. Here's what you'll receive today. I'm gonna to give you everything that you need to profitably trade the system for $2,995. That's for unlimited membership. That's for the lifetime that we're doing this product. It never expires. You never have an additional fee. You don't, pay anything monthly, and that is a beta test price only. Right? That's only for people here today. 
it's a small price to pay and the profits from maybe one to five good trades will give you a lifetime of a trading methodology that you can use and teach to others, share with your children or grandchildren and continue to, to make money on this until, until you die, right? If you have a reasonable size of account, one to five good trades will more than pay for that $2,995 price. After that, the knowledge is free. So really, that's your goal is to see how quickly you can implement this and get to get you a profitable trade or two under your belt. And it's totally free after that and just all the upside from there. But here's what you'll receive today. In this beta test, we're going to have three live training sessions that are going to cover the three core aspects of the strategy. We're going to have one session covering just the scams. We're going to have another session and a set of videos that covers the setup, entry, and exit rules. We're going to have another set of videos that covers the position sizing. Plus, we're going to give you every scan, indicator, and setting you'll ever need completely up and running on your trading platform. I paid Thinkorswim developers over a quarter million dollars for other products in the past, and I have some on hand that are developing these, these uh, indicators and settings and setups for us. The sessions are going to start next week on Monday, November 23rd. The value of that, minimum $3,000, minimum $3,000. This is basically for the coaching on exactly how to do it, the walkthroughs of all the software, the setups of the scans, uh, written rules, um, the entry and exit, and all the position sizing. On top of that, I'm not just gonna give you the, the training and let you run and have to figure out the rest on yourself. We're gonna give you a daily trading chat and notifications of setups, plus open active trades, question and answers from members and moderators that I pick. And we're gonna use something like Discord or Slack to get that rolling. That's a minimum of a $2,000 value. So you get what I'm telling you for $2,995, you get access to me through that platform for life unlimited amount of time to talk everything there is to do about this specific setup and this specific strategy. That's that's a no-brainer. I, I personally charge over a thousand dollars an hour to consult with people on stock trading and business. And so even if you just took advantage of this one hour a month for a year, right, that's twelve thousand dollars of value right there. But it's available not just advice from me, but advice from other members, other moderators, so we're not we're not an alert service. I want to teach you how to fish, not just give you the fish. So I'm going to teach you the rules for finding the fish, and then I'm going to show you when I catch fish, and you're going to show me when you catch fish. And what what a coincidence! A lot of the times, it's going to be the same stocks and the same setups because we're following the same rules. I'm also going to give you an updated Google Doc that shows all of our moderator trades with the complete results, and you can make a copy to track your own trades as well. We're also going to do monthly live on voice and screen sharing customer support webinars. You get, I mean, those are going to be a minimum of an hour a month uh, that you get completely free or completely part of the program. You're also going to get unlimited access to personal support through our support ticket site. Uh, it, you know, this is an addition, obviously, we've already talked about. You get the daily trading chat, so you can ask me there. But if it's something for your own individual account, you can ask me on the unlimited uh, personal support. Now, total value of that, easily $6,700, and I could sell at that price all day long. Be happy to do it. Of course, our price just for the beta test is going to be $2,995, okay? That's the price. If you see this later on YouTube or uh, I'm starting to advertise on YouTube and Facebook, I've got to charge that price because I'm going to be paying big bucks for advertising. It's probably going to cost me, uh, you know, up to $2,000 to get a $3,000 sale. So my profit's only gonna be a thousand bucks on that. However, in a second, I'm gonna reveal a, a, something that you may be very intrigued by. So you may be thinking, okay, that is a good value for $2,995. If I make a couple trades, the reasonable size account, I'm, I'm, I'm break even just from the get-go. And that's the men mentality. That's how you should be thinking about this. You shouldn't be thinking about the cost. You should, you should be thinking, well, how soon can I make a trade that's gonna pay for it? How soon can the money come from somewhere else? So we're going to show you, backed by solid evidence and real-world results, that uh, this works. So I'm going to show you current open trades in one of my eight accounts, show you my model portfolio. That's on the next slide. Uh, we've talked about how the protocols behind this stock trading science have been thorough, tested, and backed by real-world results. But I haven't even covered 
uh, some additional things that we that we want to cover before the end of the day. So here's some some other friends and family that I taught this methodology to, and some of their current actual results. So here is a, a friend of the family. He's in Kirk and MIK, uh, currently up. You can see right here, 17 percent. Here is another uh, family member that's in AMC and ARRY, up 7.45 percent. Here's a friend that's in TAN, which is the solar ETF, you can see right there, and Tesla, they got in that Tesla trade with me. Remember that Tesla trade that I talked about that basically we had, uh, I think 433 was the stop. You see our entry price was 439, so a $6 stop, and Tesla is currently up at 489. So he's currently up 11% of that trade, or 6.8% total on, on in this portfolio that he's following this, this methodology. Here's another friend uh, that's up 22%. They had a real winner in Futu, uh, which I'm also in in some of my other accounts, but uh, they're up 22% on a $15,000 account. And here's one of my accounts. This is one of my main accounts. It's not my only account, but the one uh, that I kind of keep track of everything in. And I am up 14.48%. You know, and obviously this is a $25,000 account that I'm not, well, there's more than that account, but in the in this portfolio. Uh, so I'm currently up over $3,000. Most of these trades right here uh, have we've been entered in into, into the last 10 days or so. So this is all pretty fresh. Now to put this in perspective, I've showed you some normal, uh, my friends and family, some of my personal accounts. This is obviously all of my accounts, but, but some of them that have these active trades in. This next uh, slide I wanna show you, just to show you the potential and the possibility. This is no way implying that you're gonna do exactly the same thing. But you could, you very well could. This is a friend of mine. Uh, this is from earlier on this year when we had a good run of the markets following this exact same system. You can see that he was up right there, $3.893 million. And you can see uh, some of the stocks we've actually talked about, Z, Zillow, he was in that one, uh, SE, NVIDIA. This column right here, this is the un unrealized profits, which basically means we're letting those profits run. So the moment the screenshot was taken, you know, he was in a Zillow trade that he was up 459,000. Uh, you know, a Fastly trade, he was up half a million. Uh, NIO trade, remember we talked about NIO, He's up, he was up 400,000 in that trade. DDOG up 200,000, ZS up 400. Anyway, all that adds up to be a grand total of open profits, of 3.8 million, okay? That's the power of what we're doing. We're not just talking peanuts here. We're not just talking pocket change. This is something that you can compound and grow and grow and grow onto incredible amounts of money. So I'm so confident that this will work that I'm gonna give you my ironclad two-part performance guarantee. Part one, I want you to go through the entire training when we launch it. Obviously we talked about in the, it's a, it's a beta test. So then tour, and training will be forthcoming starting on Monday. I want you to start trading live or even in demo mode. You can get a demo account if you so, if you so choose. And if you don't love it, uh, get a complete refund anytime within 90 days of ordering. Simply submit your trading log and we'll issue a prompt refund. For this, all I want you to do is actually do it. Submit your trading log, go through the training, show me the trades you would have taken as in demo mode or show me the trades you took live. Uh, that's how confident we are that you're, you're gonna like what you like what you see. Part two, Learn the system, use it for a full six months, executing all the trades as they come up. And if you don't at least make 10X the system investment, right? So you're gonna pay 995 for the beta test, uh, as I'm gonna to reveal to you in a moment. In profit, I'll personally work with you for free until you do. So that's us putting our money where our mouth is, right? You're gonna make 10X whatever you invest in the system in profit, or I'll personally work with you for free until you do right alongside you doing the exact same trades. So either way, you love it, you make good money with it, or you hate it and you get your money back. I don't think we can be much more fair than that. So walk with me in the future. Uh, let's say that you decide to claim the stock trading science system for yourself today. Picture your life in 72 hours uh, or 96 hours when we start the course. You already know that you're gonna see a brighter future. You already know that you're gonna see some improvement in, in your stock trading uh, setups. 
your stock trading losses, emotional turmoil from having ups and downs and weeks of indecision of what's a good trade or you know, lying awake at night, deciding when to get out on a, a subjective methodology rather than based on hard set mechanical rules. You know, even though your trading is not going to be perfect, you're still going to have tons of losses just like everybody else. It's going to be way more fun. It's still only going to take you an hour a week. But right when you make the decision, you've arrived. You've made the correct decision because you're on the path towards making trading work for you. You've made it and it feels fantastic. So I have decided, we've talked all along that we're going to charge $2,995 for this beta test. And when I roll this out to the public, when I start paying money for advertising, I'm going to have to. I'm going to. You know, my accountant says there's no way to make it work otherwise. Uh, so unlike a one-on-one -on -one deal or an expensive one-time seminar, which could set you back $15,000 to $20,000 and you walk out and you have to do it on your own, or complicated black box software for auto trading, which can cost upwards of $5,000 to $10,000, or unlike the total retail price of $2,997, which is very reasonable, we've determined, since it's worth at least two or three times that, I know I can do you one better. How about we do the whole thing for $995 if you sign up by midnight on November 22nd, 2020. That's it, out the gate, $995 for unlimited lifetime access to everything that we covered if you sign up by midnight on November 22nd, 2020. So here's how you claim a spot in that beta test. One, you can either book a call, a 15 minute phone call with Kurt directly by going to this address right here, Stock Trading Science, it'll pull up my online calendar, choose a time that works for you, fill in your information, we'll chat for 15 minutes, and uh, if at the end of that chat, that's something that's going to work for you, you can go ahead and purchase at that time. If not, we can part ways as friends. Or, if you don't really have any questions and everything's been answered on the webinar, you can go ahead and order by going to stocktradingscience.com slash order. Now remember, this is the beta test for $995 instead of $2,995. And it does expire on Sunday, November 22nd, 2020, no exceptions. Now let's talk a little bit about, about the setup. Um, you don't need to have a complicated setup. This is my setup that I'm trading from right now. You can see I have my old man, uh, my computer glasses over there. This is the mic I'm using right now, but uh, uh, you don't need anything this complicated. Um, I, I love trading setups and trading monitors and all the different strategies. You don't really need all that. What you do need is uh, a trading account, any sort of laptop that you can get from Apple or Best Buy or, or Costco, and the desire to learn this. It is going to take some time to learn because remember, like we talked about in the beginning, it is not easy, but it is simple. Uh, you're just going to have to get yourself accustomed to making, doing these processes and going through the ups and downs of this. Now, so go go ahead and ask questions that you have in the questions and answers box. We're going to cover these uh, for a little bit. And again, like we've talked about, drop this down to claim your spot in the beta test. You're going to either book a 15-minute phone call with me directly by going to stocktradingscience.com slash call or place your order online at stocktradingscience.com slash order. Okay. Beta test expires. This 995 price goes away. You cannot buy it at that price. It would be 2,995. Okay, so let's go through the questions and answers and answer any questions that come up uh, from those of us with us live. How much capital do I need to get started? I would say you need at least 5K. The reason for that is because you're gonna wanna have at least a little bit of capital. You don't, you're never gonna put all your capital into one stock. You want to have at least five different stocks. So that means you have about a thousand dollar stake in each one, right? I would recommend 5K to get started. Now, can you get started with less than that? Yes. You're just going to be, have to be extra cautious and make sure you only take the best of the best trades. And you're going to want to trade uh, things that have a high ADR. Uh, what kind of computer do I need? Well, we've already covered that one. What kind of brokerage account and trading software do I need? Uh, brokerage account doesn't matter as long as you can set up. Uh, Limit orders and good tilt cancel stops, you're going to be fine. For trading software, I recommend either Thinkorswim, which is totally free. Uh, and granted, you, you don't have to marry any of these choices. You can try out whatever you want. But Thinkorswim is free or TC2000, uh, which does the scans kind of in an elegant fashion. Thinkorswim isn't as elegant on the scans, but it has its, its other pluses, of course. So, and uh, TC2000 is going to cost you about 15 or 20 bucks a month. 
Uh, how does the guarantee work? We kind of cover that. It's a two-part performance guarantee. The, in the first part, basically no questions asked. As long as you are executing trades as they come up and jotting them down either in a demo account that you've opened or a real live trading account, no questions asked. You decide what makes you happy, but that's a 90, 90 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. The second part guarantee, you know, if you ride, live, ride live with us and do the work and trade with us for six months, I guarantee you'll make at least, make at least 10 times your money that you invested or $10,000 to 995 times 10. Or I will personally work with you for free until you do. So this is a no brainer. You're gonna turn $1,000 investment into this train into $10,000 and I will work with you until you do. So who's the most likely to succeed with this method? Who's the most likely to fail? The most likely to succeed is someone who has at least an intermediate or beginner level of trading knowledge, as in most likely you have a funded brokerage account or things like that. You've tried a couple other things in the past. Um, those are the people who are most likely to see. The, the most likely to fail is someone who gets hung up on the technology issues or someone who uh, just, doesn't have the, the computer wherewithal to get the scan set up and things like that. Or someone who thinks they're, they're, they're know-it-alls and you know they're not gonna follow the rules and they, they get burned out quickly. If you follow the rules, uh, you know obviously not every month is gonna be fantastic. Not every week is gonna be fantastic, but that generally you're gonna look back every month and every year for sure, you're gonna be up 15, 16. Uh, you know, folks, it's pretty normal using this methodology uh, for folks to be up 200% net in a year. Uh, you do the math from there, that's about 16% a month. How long does it take to learn this and get good at? I would say you gotta give yourself a good six months. If you get to give yourself a good six months, you're gonna know how to follow the rules, you're gonna have a successful list of trades under your belt, and you're gonna have the confidence uh, to take those trades with size, right? Uh, why doesn't everyone tr trade this way? Well, qu quite simply, not everybody has the discipline to follow something that's this simple and this methodical. Uh, other questions that, that come up, Peter asked, do you have trade alerts? Absolutely, we, we have trade alerts in the fact that we have, we talked about in the training, we have this right here in our beta test, we have this chat, daily trading chat and notification of setups. So it's not alerts as in, I'm spoon feeding you alerts and just telling you what stock to buy at what price but we're going to come up with them together. We're going to have watch lists. I'm going to say, look, today I'm watching uh, Zoom and Amazon. If it breaks out, I'm going to, I'm going to then notify everyone, hey, I just, I just entered Amazon. Now, granted, it's, it's not a, you know, it's, this isn't an alert service, but it, this portion of it does kind of function like that. If you wanted to, you could just take alerts as they come up to get your feet wet. However, I highly, highly recommend they all become self-sufficient. If I get hit by a bus, I don't want your $1,000 to go to waste. I want you to be able to continue on and trade just like I've taught you. Um, other questions have come up. Go ahead and ask any questions you want. Remember, to, you, to claim your spot in the beta test, you can either book a 15-minute call, Kurt directly at stocktradingscience.com slash call, or place your order online right now, stocktradingscience.com slash order. And that's to get the $995 price. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and I'll answer any questions as they come up. We'll make sure we get everybody's questions answered. But again, make sure that uh, you go ahead and either do one or, the, one or the other. I mean, I really can't think of any reason why you wouldn't take action on this uh, with our guarantee that we've covered, with the ability to talk to me before you make a, 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 a final decision or the board ability to just place your order online. Everyone on this call should be either booking the 15 minute phone call with me over the next couple of days to kind of sort it out to see if this something's gonna work for them and their situation, or just place your order online. Okay, this is from William. He says, what if you aren't a good loser? Minimum risk. Yeah, absolutely. If you're not a good loser, which most of us aren't, we have a think or swim uh, calculator that actually gives us the exact amount of trade, uh, trade sites entered. Let's say that we're trading with a uh, $5,000 account, and we want to make sure that the trade that we put on uh, has a minimum uh, or maximum, excuse me, of 1% risk. So what 1% risk on $5,000 would be what? Well, that would be $50. So we plug all that in, and we're looking at our current uh, stock entry. Say we're going to buy Tesla. It'll tell us, okay, the low of the day of Tesla is this, the current price is this, 
the most you want to risk is this. Here's how many shares you can buy. Boom. Put plug that in. Okay. And then I'll tell you exactly. Now, the easiest way for me to avoid the the ups and downs, the emotional side of it, is just set your stop and don't look at it. <laughs> set the stop. If you get stopped, no big deal. You kind of look through your finger, you know, you open your brokerage account, you look through your fingers to see if it's still there. Oh, it's still there. It's up. Okay, good. Right. That's kind of how I do it. But then once you have winning positions on, it, it becomes a ton of fun, obviously, because then you, you know, you kind of babysit your positions, you make sure that you take off half, uh, a third to half within three to five, in three to five days after entry, because that's when most of the moves of the momentum stock are going to happen after the breakout. And then you let the let rest, rest of it ride. Uh, this is from William. He says, can I play this over? Are you sending this a PDF or a video? You will get uh, an email in about four or five hours that has the replay of this. Yes, you can watch this over again if you'd like. Uh, you know, definitely everyone uh, will have the opportunity to watch the replay. But, you know, go ahead and take action. By take action, that's one of these two things. That's either book a 15-minute phone call with me directly or place your order online. Uh, either of those is going to get you the same path, which is getting into this beta test. Uh, allowing you to participate in this for $995. Remember, we do have the ironclad two-part performance guarantee. That's, you know, th there's no way you can lose. This is the only opportunity that you're going to have, not only to have the market give you the money to pay for this, but also have me alongside you to help you make sure you make your money's worth. So go through the entire training, start trading live or in demo mode. If you don't love it, get a complete refund anytime within 90 days of ordering. Simply submit your trading log. Uh, either trading in demo or live mode and we'll issue a prompt refund or part two learn the system use it for a full six months executing all the trades as they come up if you don't leave, make at least 10x what you paid for the system which in this case was 995 for the beta test in profit i'll personally work with you for free until you do that's you know I'm, that's that's you saying hey i haven't i haven't made it yet i need your help right and then i step in and help you along the way to make sure that you're to, to do what you need to do okay this is from Steve. He says, hey, why is it a beta and others have been using the approach for years? Uh, what's being tested? Well, the test is <laughs> I haven't launched the, the training portion of it. Um, everybody that I've taught how to use the system uh, just has been one on one. Uh, we already have all the scans built. We already have all the, the indicators and all that kind of stuff, all that all, that all figured out. Um, but the beta test is that uh, on Monday, I'm going to release the videos of, of the training. So I'm going to teach it to you in in video format. Uh, you know, uh, any one particular lesson will probably have 12 to 15 portions, and you go through the lesson, lessons, you click them off, then you watch them. Some of them may have quizzes or, or things like that. Um, then you have the installing the indicators. So the beta test is that I haven't advertised it to the world yet. I'm only using this to my existing customer list and a few close friends and things like that. So after the beta test, I can't, you know, I can't do it unlimited lifetime for $995. Uh, people, had, a couple of people had questions that you, if you can do this with options, absolutely, we will have an additional add-on bonus. That's one of the things I mentioned we will cover, but uh, we didn't have time to really get to. But yes, you will be able to trade this using simple call options. <laughs> we'll teach you exactly how to do that. It's not going to work um, or be available for every single stock that we choose, but for the vast majority, if you want to allocate uh, a smaller portion of your capital and you're okay with, you know, an occasional option losing 50% of its value, because that's the way the options work, um, we, we can go ahead and teach you how to uh, trade options with it as well. Uh, it's from Steve. He says, okay, product beta, not system beta. Yeah, it's just the product of the actual, the training is in the process of being written. I, I have all the scans. Everything that you've seen was built using scans that I have that I already have set up in TC2000 and uh, Thinkorswim that I can share with everyone, plus custom indicators and Thinkorswim for the position sizing, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. All right. Hey, we appreciate you all being on today. Uh, go ahead and do one of these two options. Book a 15-minute phone call with me directly at stocktradingscience.com slash call or order online at stocktradingscience.com slash order. Remember, the beta test closes, no exceptions, Sunday, November 22nd, which is uh, two days from now. And everything will start on Monday. All right, everyone.
Uh, thanks for being on. We will talk to you soon. I greatly appreciate your time and uh, glad to have you guys on as customers and prospects. And uh, I love this stuff. I'm glad that you guys do as well. So best of success to you and uh, let's get this going.